Right, um, call to this because uh, the compressor's not running. Uh, it's quite a big one. QR85, I think. So, Presco or Copeland? Presco or Copeland? I think it's a QR85. Uh, AP, yeah, APQR85, yeah. Um, we've found the overloads out tripped. So we reset them. I'm not sure if this is on pump down or not, but um, let's turn it back on and see. There's a time delay box there. So then we'll bypass that. Turn the control on because maybe it's not on pump down. Uh, you've got the overloads off on the other unit as well. Um, let's try and see. as I um, built that delay the start of um, the compressors and then whichever one fires up first it then delays the other one for six minutes so that they can't start within six minutes of each other because um, he's right on the limit of their um, electrical supply so uh, that was a, one of the stipulations of the electricity company that two compressors out to have a staggered start and they're as they're on pump down I think um, and there's a delayed um, delay time in this box also you can never be sure which one's going to start first so basically that one whichever one decides to start first um, holds the other one off for six minutes that's that timer so two timers working there. Two lights flashing. That's one for each unit. And got some relays there. If the timers go wrong, you can over override it with a
on the stereo. seem to do, we we'll have to wait six minutes I think, see what happens, might be three minutes, I forget what I said it to. They look like three minutes, might be a three minute delayed start and then six minutes between the two starts. Alright, well we've checked it over, um, checked the high pressure switch and low pressure switch and they're, they're working correctly. Um, Check the capacitors on the fan motors because they're three phase compressors but single phase fan motors and they should be sixes, six microfarads and that one's reading 4.7 which they have a tolerance of 5% which is 0.3 so that would be um, 5.7 to anything out of that is out of range and I tend to, if they're not within the manufacturer's spec I'll um, put another one on there because they're only going to get worse um, that one's reading 3.99 so it's 30% under what it should be um, well this was off of the, um, the unit that tripped the overloads but like I say I don't think it was a contributing factor but while we're here um, makes sense to change them to also cheaper than a new fan motor um, if you had a new fan motor you'd have to put a new one on anyway so you're not saving anything by leaving them um, it had some power problems over the weekend which is um, what I think was the cause of the problem so uh, with the delay timer it would have fired up on one of the compressors and then six minutes later tried to run the other one so I suspect this one fired up first, um, tripped out and then by the time the other one cut in there, the power situation had improved. So it's a CRQ, CR, CR, QR 85K1. I'm getting confused because the smaller ones are a CRNQ with a smaller shape. They're the more the um, oval shape bodies rather than the round ones. I think this is a radial, I think it's four cylinder. So, quite interesting to cut one of these open if I ever get the chance. They're obsolete now, so the replacement for them is a scroll, which is what this has had on that side. We're just waiting for the timer to click in now and we'll run them both up, make sure they both run after we've changed the uh, capacitors and uh, back up and go I think.